okay here's an example now this particular plant here's I know it's looking a little rough it's getting late in the season this is Tabasco crossed with habanero crossed with itself crossed with itself so that makes this an F3 generation this one and this one have the same exact lineage I took the same the uh, F2 from last year which was the eighth plant and I let it open pollinate and so from what I understand from peppers I could be mistaken they uh, naturally self so you can see they have the same lineage but yet they can look different this one is the same generation but it is the second plant see how these stick up that's other another varying characteristic some can stick up some can hang down this has the same lineage this one here also the same lineage And like I said before, all of my peppers that I have crossbred so far are very hot. Get this one. Alright. Now these over here, these three here I'm fixing to show, this is an F2 generation that I grew this year of the Tabasco Habanero hybrid. That's Tabasco Habanero crossed with itself that's the F2 generation. This one here doesn't have any peppers, but this one, I kind of like it. It's sort of a peach colored. And from what I've been told from other people that have tried it, it's very hot. Very, very hot. It's an interesting color, shape. I think I might want to hang on to this one. Taste is, it's hard for me to evaluate the taste of these because they're so hot. I'm trying to breed some that are not quite so hot, but just for the fun of it. I like to see how hot I can get them. This is the third one. They all have the same lineage. And that's why I, I keep emphasizing that, but I find it so fascinating to see the variation in these things. Alright, now, these next ones over here, this is the eighth uh, pepper from the Tabasco, the F2 generation of Tabasco Habanero. So this is the F3, it crossed with uh, the F2, open pollinated, to get this one, this is from the, like I said, from the 8th plant, you see there. Some plants, like I say, just didn't do so well, like this one. Not sure exactly why, maybe it was too much rain or not enough fertilizer or, or something. See the variation from one to the next. They may not vary a whole lot, but from what I what I've noticed is that as long as they're of the same uh, lineage, they can they have the same general idea. And I know that may sound like a nah duh statement, but when I have Tabasco crossed with habanero crossed with itself to get the F2 generation, I have eight different plants, and I take each plant and self it. The lines from each plant have the same general idea. You can kind of tell one from the next is what I'm referring to. All right. Okay, these uh, four plants are Tabasco crossed with habanero, crossed with itself, crossed with itself. These are of the third plant from that hybrid. They can vary. Those two aren't having any peppers on them. These peppers have gotten kind of old on me. But you can kind of see what they look like. And all the Tabasco habanero hybrids, as you can tell, they have the same general idea. But the uh, uh, closer the lineage they have, the obviously the uh, this particular one here is from last year. But I, I wanted to show it. This is the one I kept in my greenhouse. I kind of like it. This is Tabasco crossed with habanero crossed with black bell pepper but the more specific that I get to uh, them having the same lineage the you can you can kind of see the same idea getting I don't know exactly how to put it but this here is some that I grew this year this is Tabasco crossed with habanero crossed with black bell pepper and see how they're black to start with and they they turn orange and this one 
some are more than others this one is a light color and then this one this here this is my original Tabasco cross with habanero That's what the fruit looks like I showed it to you last year this is one that I grew this time in pots they generally don't get quite as big and when I take cuttings they generally don't get quite as big now this one as you can see my my label here this is how I named them cap referring to capsicum which is the scientific name for peppers cap-3 that's uh, the name I've given to Tabasco crossed with habanero crossed with jalapeno dash 2 and I'm not entirely sure on that one if it was this from the second one that's why I put a question mark but dash 2 means that it's from the second plant so that's the mother crossed with the father which was Fatali which I've shown you already this is one plant of it this is another plant another like I say some of these are little they haven't done very well but anyway I wanted to show them to you I like the shape of that one this one this is not one of my hybrids but I wanted to show it to you this is called balloon it looks like a little balloon that has popped it's pretty neat and I've tried to use it to cross with some of my peppers as well this is of a species called capsicum bacatum if I'm pronouncing it correctly and I'll show you what the bloom looks like here in just a second this is a uh, tabasco crossed with habanero crossed with lemon drop which I can show you here in just a second this is um, cap also capsicum bacatum just a different cultivar that I use which is lemon drop it's capsicum bacatum they didn't do quite as well these particular ones this right here Let's see which one is this that's uh, cap dash one dash f2 that's Tabasco crossed with habanero crossed with itself and I'm not sure which one it was but I like it it's pretty and this one I think is the eighth one that's the parent to some of the hybrids that I have shown you. Like I say, I keep these in my greenhouse. I can take cuttings. Sometimes I'll just dig up the original plant and trim it up some and bring it inside. Cap dash one is F2 dash five, the fifth plant from that hybrid. This is the second plant. I didn't keep all of them, but I kept most of them. And this is the first plant. These were in my video from last year.